I like your fit too, though. You fresh. Thank you. Yeah, this is nice. I was. Uh, yeah, you know your curls is popping. We was gonna get into the curls. You Ooh, know that. Yes. It's a good curl day. Thank you. Yeah, you having a good curl day. You know that's hard to achieve. Man, it's like I was nervous because you never know. One day it looks good. You, yeah. Sometimes you look homeless. Sometimes you look like a mom. You know, you right. just never know. If you vibe, then you can look real streetwalkerish. <laughs> it just could go any way. Like, I don't want to speak too soon though. When night comes, something about like as the day goes on, it the, get bigger and bigger. Yes. Does yours do that? Mine yes. does that. It gets bigger and bigger. You have to contain it, mm-hmm. and then you gotta have the right precipitation. But it's nice today, so I think you're gonna be rocking out all night. Yeah, Ain't I too hope hot. so. Thank you. Ain't too cold. Like, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. perfect for it. Well, I think we rolling. We good? All right. Love it. What's up, guys? You already know we are back with, with Backwoods Backstage, and we are behind Dreamville 2024. We kicking it off. You already know I'm Brie Renee straight from the A. Nav, Nav Green. Green. And then we have the beautiful Nyla Simone sitting with us today. Yes. Man. Thanks for having me, guys. No, yeah. For sure. How's it feeling? Yeah. Hey. Uh, you got, she got a fan club and all. Uh, <laughs> right. <man. laughs> now you've been working today, though, right? Or you said you just got here? I'm about to start working. I start work today at four with Amazon Music. Okay, with Amazon and Dreamville? Yep. How did that feel to be like out here working and interviewing some artists as well? Man, I'm excited because I've never missed a Dreamville Fest. I've came every year. Okay. First year, you know, I'm GA. Next year, I'm backstage. You know, networking yeah. and working with my so colleagues. So you see the progression. Yeah, so yeah. it feels good, especially because, not to tell the story as I always tell the story, but I went to St. John's because I was a J. Cole fan, so it's like a okay. it's like a never-ending full circle moment. Where yeah. are you from? Maryland. Okay, Maryland, yeah, yeah. so around the area. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what's up. Any yeah. artists that you looking forward to sitting down talking to today? Um, I'm looking forward to talking to Amare, and I definitely want to talk with Earth Gang. Big Earth yeah, Gang sure. fan. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, and I don't think 50's going to do interviews, but I mean, I'm excited to see 50 Yeah, today. I would love to get 50 to sit down, too. Uh-huh. That'll be a good See him, period. Yeah. I got to ask you this, because you always on the music, and like you love music. You know, you do your showcase when you, you talk about the new music coming out. What do you think about J. Cole's seven minutes? This, man... Well, first I'm going to just talk about the project. Okay. My delete letter. I really like the project. It I was think time it, for it? Yeah, yeah. It was a great yeah. rap album. I think it really showcased his skill. And to be fair, I feel like this project was already planned. Like, I don't feel like he put this project together because of that diss or anything like that. Nah. Not to mention he was already giving us promo for it. Right. Now, the seven minute diss, I feel like he didn't really... He didn't try to make a hit record like, like that or like back to back. So I feel like, you know, a lot of... Rap snobs are upset because it's not meeting what they thought it would be. But my only, like, I have a few things where I'm like, eh, I wish you didn't bring up the albums, like comparing uh, Kendrick's oh, his album. listing them out, yeah. Yeah, it was like, I don't really do that because then niggas are going to attack your catalog. But I feel like that's what you gotta do when you with the art. You got artists gotta critique other artists sometimes. That's just what he feel, you know. That's true. But I like how you said that it wasn't like I think a lot of people was expecting him to come out the gate just hitting so low or going. I think it was like so, a jam. It, like, it was. It was, it was like let's get warmed yeah. up. Yeah. Cause, <laughs> you know Kendrick hasn't really officially released a full song targeted to Cole or true. really at Cole. So it was like okay, Kendrick threw a little diss, then he came with a song. Now Kendrick got an answer. I know. You know. I'm but excited about I, it. I, I don't even want Cole to be a part of this. I keep saying this. I feel like I feel like first. I mean, not first person shooter. I feel like like that was really towards Drake. I don't it, even it, feel like it was just with Cole. Like just in case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah, like bro. Oh, you feel like Kendrick's first this wasn't really yeah, towards he, Cole. He, he didn't really like say was, nothing about. He just said the first person shooter. He yeah. just said yeah. prove it. Like prove you the greatest. Yeah. That was the only line that was given to Cole. But that's all J Cole had to hear. But maybe it was some secret. Maybe it's some behind the scenes, like little slit in my shit. We don't know nothing it's about. It's giving us a lot of behind the scenes. That's yeah. coming to the front of the scenes. So I'm I'm really curious to but watch this. Play you out. as a music head, you love this though. I do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> As music fans, this is good for the music. It is. It's yeah. good banter. And it's fun because, you know, I'm not too big into sports. But men can get together and talk about sports for hours. Absolutely. Like, this is now something for us to talk about as music yeah. lovers. Like, I, I can debate this. You know, um, we could debate it right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Being a Kendrick fan is like being a Laker fan. Right. Like it's, it's that yeah. deep. And then I, I like the fact it's like it's friendly. Like it ain't no, you know, ain't nobody trying to kill Man, nobody. Man, I don't know. I don't 
feels no, safe. No, when right? I say, I feel, like, <laughs> man, you ain't got to worry like about that. you ain't got to worry about seeing nobody with a drink at like this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Festival is being shut down. Well, like, you know what I said? Yes, I agree. Hip hop has matured, especially because they like some of the wokest rappers we got. Yeah. I feel like they gonna man. keep it. So you civil. know they ain't gonna kill. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be still. It's gonna be straight. Yeah, they gonna keep it in the booth. You ain't got to worry about nobody. Bar for bar. Yes, please. Yeah. Let's keep it like that. I like, think the fans ain't got to worry about no OVO chains getting snatched, none of that. Like they gonna man, be. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I hope so. Like I want to keep it peace, but yeah. it get personal. I hate when people be like, "Yo, it's, it's business, not personal." At the end of the day, I might fake it for business, but it's yeah. really personal. But if I see me. you, it might be on yeah, site. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it might not be direct. You know, it might be a, a shot. But you know <laughs> like what? what Kendrick just did, just like a yeah. I think what it was because no one expected that. Like you, we haven't heard a Kendrick verse, and then the first verse we hear, like, damn, right? Yeah, no, like, what, what they did no, to you? That was like, like, going we need on. a backstory. Like, how you just gonna give us the conclusion of the movie? <laughs> Not to mention, nobody knew that yeah. future Metro. Like, nobody knew it was all the Avengers, right? <laughs> as Twitter is calling it, like nobody knew it was that many people who didn't like. Um, Drake and but, we hadn't even really like recovered from learning that Future and Drake had fell I out know. yet. You know what I'm saying? We really, I feel like they, it was a lot to take in listening <laughs> that at one time. But I think Kendrick, it was skillfully done, and I really liked his approach. He didn't like overbar you to death. Like you felt it. You felt yeah, each yeah, little yeah. yeah nigga bum every time. I was like oof yeah. oof. <laughs> and I feel like, like it's like he was in the booth like, like yeah like, <laughs> like he's been waiting to get this off like, his chest like, like, future by like relax bro like, I don't think future thought he was gonna go that hard on the song yeah, I feel like he was surprised when he heard it back me too yeah. I was when when it got to a Kendrick verse I was like oh okay this look this I'm really like that Kendrick yeah. coming so mm-hmm. look Nala you talk about how you know how many festivals you done came to like what's been you know, I, of course you can't judge this one yet, but what's been one of the, your favorite ones to come to? My favorite festival? I got to say last year um, with Usher and the OVO Dreamville collab, it was uh-huh. definitely cool to see uh, Drake and Cole together. I will say I'm disappointed that they didn't do their records together. Like, yeah. it was, that, that was it's like that's what thing. you was expecting. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Joe to see. I'm going to get In the Morning, and they didn't do either one of those. That's my only critique. I'm sorry. I'm a hip-hop critic. I got to critique everything. But, um, yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Two, of, two of our biggest. Any artists that, like, or in, people that you sat down that you really enjoyed talking to that, or that you didn't expect? Usher, last year. I wasn't even working, but he just came up to a heater and started talking, and he was... It was like Usher in real life. I don't know. Certain, I know we see celebrities all the time, but he's really like a a goat. I mean, yeah. if we didn't see yeah. that already this year between the Super Bowl. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. But yeah. I, I was surprised. I think that stamped it. Like, yeah. that solidified yeah. it. Like, yeah. I think that really show other people outside of it. Because we're from Atlanta, and I feel like, mm-hmm. of course, Atlanta looks at Usher as a legend and a goat. But I think that's what made other music fans or R&B people be like, okay, no, Usher really is up there with, like, king of R&B he right is. now in our, genre, in our time. He is. I mean, not even yeah. to mention, like, there's not too many people with classic R&B albums. Like, mm. Confessions is a, a classic Easily. R&B album. Yeah. So, Easily. Yeah. To have that, he's one of few. Yeah. And then when it stands, like, the time, like, you know what I'm saying? All those years, you come back and listen to it, it's, it's like a first listen, like, this shit still jam. That's timeless. You're going to have to play yeah. that for your kids. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah Even, sure. it's like gen- generational music that, even, like, my grandma, like, Usher. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah. the moms, the daughters, like, that's Even the everybody. younger generation, they like Usher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you being, like, I know, I can't surprise you with nothing. So what you think about JT and Glorilla? Oh. Oh, my God. It's, it's giving messy and petty <laughs> only because... <laughs> They talking about wigs and whatnot, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's, so this not so much music. This, this yeah, one. this was not really. I don't have too much of a critique just because it's not music based. Okay, okay. Um, but, but how you felt about what Glow Glow's verse that even set off the the new Twitter beef? You get what I'm saying? I didn't even first, realize. I'm just thinking. You know, rappers be talking so much. I don't even be thinking it relates to something that actually happened in real life. But she said, "You think you was the last rap bitch that's left?" So I'm like, "Damn, is she just out here?" Slapping 
You know, yeah. people and as men, just, as men, we listen to this music, we bobbing our head. We don't even know they really out here catching bodies. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> damn, I thought y'all was just shaking ass. That's right. what I thought too. <laughs> the rap game I is the rap we, game. Yeah. I thought so. I thought we had the red lights twerking right. on the headlights. Yeah. Right. right now we knocking lights out. Like this is. Yeah. I don't know how we got here, but we, we're here now. So like you know when you have women around, you might put on the music like you might put on Glow Real Lotto, and you don't even know. Oh, they might be you might be putting on a diss song yeah you got Yeesh. different sets I know. especially cause not people kinda, yeah they kinda <laughs> starting to pick sides you know Glow rocking with Megan I know and JT rock with like Nikki so it yeah. kinda gave like we repping for who we rock with oof I hate that we have this division right now cause now we're having this on the on the guy side too I didn't even yeah. realize that it's it's, it's separated. Like, it's like NCAA, like the men and the women. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's, yeah, and we got though. different brackets for sure. It we just is. gotta figure out who Iowa, who South Carolina. I mean, all, all I will say is I, I hope they put it in the music. I was gonna yeah, say, sure. I think we're gonna get some great music out of it. Who you think gonna really take over for the summer coming up? You know, we're a few months out. Who you see taking over and having a, a good s- summer run? Um, I think Future's gonna Future and Metro are gonna have a great summer run. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope JT has a good summer run just mm-hmm. because I feel like she's actually really talented. For sure. And I want her to be able to break through regardless of whatever she management is a good, situation or whatever. A dope artist. Yeah, Lotto. I like Lotto. I hope she gets one too. Sure. Um, oh, and I love Tyler right now. Like that's I'm yeah. deep in my I'm a piano bag right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. What's one of your favorite songs on the Tyler album? Um, I like Truth or Dare. Yeah, that's a good one. Truth or Dare. But I also like Jump. I like Art. I like On and On. You like the album. I, I like yeah. the album. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I like the whole. She gave what the track. How you, how you feel about JT and Carisha kind of doing their own solo thing right now? Um, I'm it, sad about it, honestly. I'm, I'm not surprised, and I'm not. I don't know any of them personally, but just through you know seeing different hip hop duos and groups in history, it's always a you know a matter of time, and then someone goes solo. Not to say that they wouldn't come back together. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. But yeah. I They're think like at the that, end of the day, so. mm-hmm. yeah. So, and we've been seeing Carisha in movies and stuff like that. So, I mean, as long as they keep going, I think that's all that matters. But I do hope at some point, you know, they... We get another good City Girl album. Who's a hidden gem? Because you, you you be knowing the new music and stuff like that. Who's a hidden gem, like, that hmm. the world ain't caught up on yet, that you already own? Hmm. Good question. A hidden gem. Huh. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the hidden gems were the people that come to my mind when you ask me that. Oh, well, nah, I'm going to just say it. Ruben Vincent, I'm a really big fan Man, of Ruben. Man, the money just, just said, said that. that. Oh, he yeah. did? Yeah. yeah. Hey, it must be Ruben's year. Yeah. I, yeah, I think yeah. Ruben is a, a hidden gem. And if you're not familiar with Ruben Vincent, just go check out any of his freestyles. Yeah. Particularly. He said the, he could just be sitting in the room and he could just talk about everybody in the room. And yo, just, he's an animal. And it's like double entendres. Like, he's he's crazy. So Ruben he, he, Vincent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the yeah. lyrics. For real. Yeah, Hard I think it's, it's almost time. We're almost there. The climate is it's changing. The culture is shifting. It's, so. it's getting, I think, but maybe with the beef too is going to take it back to the lyrics because you know for a minute I feel like the last few years we just been having hit songs that feel good mm-hmm. they got like a good beat to it but nobody really in the booth for real yeah rapping so oh my god like, that's why when Lotto said get back in the booth right you know, I'm, I'm thinking people really gonna get back in the booth so yeah, uh, yeah I think it's coming yeah it's time for that oh uh what was I gonna say and uh to your point of like the era that we're in you remember like looking boy, like when that sound yeah. and the snap music. That's where we're at right now. Oh, like, yeah, the snap the music, sexy red yeah. and the whole Hurricane yeah. Chris flip. Like I see, that's the temperature. Making good fun music that you can just vibe out. That's when the internet really was first starting. Man, up. what? That's yeah. that MySpace era. That's that yeah. was the time. Dang, I feel old now. No, all right, all right. we in the same. We <laughs> yeah. and and I like how sexy red. She incorporating that. You you thinking about childhood? Like she bringing Soldier Boy back. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, she stuff did that in her video. Like, so it's like she it make, it's it's not, yeah. she's not even twerking. She's you know. Yeah. Well, and I think that's what's so dope about it. Like you know when you see somebody so effortlessly and nonchalant, like 
You killing this shit? And that, you I was give gonna a say, damn. That's who I think really gonna have a good summer too. Yeah. Sexy red. She just dropped that baby. Is she outside true, with true, it? True, true. She outside. True. We wanna know who the rich baby daddy is. That's all I gotta say. Right. Who is the rich baby daddy? Because I feel like her baby daddies be like random dudes. I don't know. It's giving Aubrey. What shit he rich her out now? On PJs. He rich now because he's sexy red baby daddy. That's true. Red That's red true. That, I'll be doing walkthroughs with that. You got sex. You got sex <laughs> red, red baby, baby daddy in the building. <laughs> You might get you might blow up with that though. People, hey, get on the mic. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sexy red baby yeah. dad. I'm in the building. Yeah, yeah. you right about they that. They do it for the men rappers. Yeah. Why they can't yeah. do it for the female rappers? It's time That's to change true. the culture, man. Yeah. Let's start you right. Shit. He's like, Y'all want equal rights? <laughs> right. Female rappers oh, they have a whole house full of baby daddies. House of niggas of LA. With like Suki Ooh, Yama. I went watch that. Suki Yama I baby went... daddy, her old dude. House baby daddies of LA. We need to do that. Y'all really on to something right there. Don't steal my shit. We need to pan that. Yeah. We need to pan that. You already smart. I already can see you on the plane right uh, now writing this shit out. Just throw me a little cut, man. That's good. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah for sure. Man, we appreciate you coming through, sitting with us, and just chopping it up. No, when we, I seen you, I was like, man, that's the perfect music head. Like, and I should have knew you was gonna be here though. I know. Come on now, I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. Every yeah. year I'm out here. Which was the camera? This one. Yeah. Every year I'm out here. Before they kick me off this, let me just shout out the podcast. Make sure you guys follow oh. at We Need to Talk. Oh, we weren't kicking you, we you off. Yeah. Kick you you started we... leaning up. I thought you were going to lean up. No, I, th- I thought you was giving me the boot. I'm sorry. Hey, no, no, you we good. Me. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. But you okay. can't tell everybody what, what, what podcast. Tell us about your podcast. Oh, yeah. My podcast, We Need to Talk, is uh, two interviews a week and then one just talking like a weekly wrap up. Um, make sure you guys tune in and make sure you tune into The Breakfast Club every Friday for Past the Ox. I'm trying to keep. You know my unks hip and whatnot. So, so okay. she she getting them like you know like music suggestions. Mm-hmm. Yo, he hated he hated on all of my songs. Nah, it was, yo, you you hated on all of them. You, you was in you was in your reggae bag that time. That was wasn't like, even reggae. That was Afrobeat. Uh, yeah, Afrobeat uh, is for reggae. Tomato, tomato. Man, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Real shit, cause it's two different genres, but, but for sure. I get. I was oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> nah, that's but what's up. Though. Thank you guys for having me. All right, thank. Tell them where to follow you too. Oh yeah, yeah. make sure you follow me at uh, Nyla Simone N Y L A S Y M O N E E E. Instagram, Twitter. I mean X. Sorry. Sorry, Elon. I don't want no problems. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Tap in. Nah, it's though sitting you sitting down, talking to you, meeting you, and everything. I love to meet other women in media and music Same. that's killing it, that's doing their thing. So Same. thank you. Yeah. And you yeah. fresh. Yeah, you fly. I told you, you fly. Shout out to Woodstack NYC. Also, shout out to Two Laws for being the official sponsor of Certified Vibe, which is my monthly showcase. So definitely make sure you guys tap in with that too. At it's a Certified Vibe on a gram. All right, I'm gonna go now. I'm, I'm, All I'm right. Thank you. Sport. Thank you.